Selena Gomez responds to Cole Sprouse. Liam Payne is certain that a one day reunion is happening. Ooh, and Shane Dawson reveals trailer and series release date. Kind of. Ooh, yes, <laughs> all that and more on today's Daily Hollywood Rundown. What is up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Daily Hollywood Rundown. I'm Emil Ennis Jr. And I'm Susan Morad. And thanks so much for joining us today. If it's your first time here, if it's your hundredth time here, if you're not a subscriber, I don't know why you're not a subscriber. Hit that subscribe button right there. And also hit the bell to be notified the second we post a new Clever News update and leave us comments because we love reading your comments. They crack us up literally every day. They really do. <laughs> but guys, it's Wednesday. We have a lot of tea to get into and we're going to kick it off with Taylor Swift's iconic Rolling Stone cover. Mm -hmm. So Taylor Swift just opened up big time in her new Rolling Stone cover story. Now, she reveals a lot as well as calling Kanye West two-faced and shares intimate details about trying to reconnect with him. Let me break it down. But you guys, before we get into that, can we just take a moment to appreciate how amazing she looks in this spread? Okay, now for the tea she spilled about Kanye West. So Taylor spoke in depth about her Kanye high profile falling out and how she attempted to reconnect with him back in 2015. Taylor said, quote, I started to feel like we reconnected, which felt great for me because all I ever wanted my whole career after that thing happened in 2009 was for him to respect me. Also, she talked about how they'd gone out to dinners together and felt like she was, quote, healing some childhood rejection or something from when I was 19. But then the 2015 VMAs came around. So in case you forgot, Taylor actually presented Kanye with the Video Vanguard Award that year. But that moment didn't exactly go how she expected. So she explained that he called her up beforehand and said that he would really, really like her to present the award and why it would mean so much to him. Taylor was actually really stoked that he asked her. But then when she actually attended the awards and made the speech, he yelled out, MTV got Taylor Swift up here to present me this award for ratings. Taylor said it was at that particular moment she realized who Kanye really was. She told Rolling Stone that, quote, I realized he is so two-faced, that he wants to be nice to me behind the scenes, but then he wants to look cool, get up in front of everyone and talk shit. Taylor also talked about how he called her about his famous lyrics only to release the song with the words I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex I made that famous without her knowledge or consent of the second half and we all know the drama that ensued after that but Taylor is actually talking about the specific details of she and Kanye's infamous phone call for the first time in a while she said quote the world didn't understand the context and the events that led up to it some events took place to cause me to be pissed off when he called me a that was not just a singular event. Basically, I got really sick of the dynamic between he and I. It was kind of a chain reaction of things. Oh, and you guys, there's so much more to this interview. You make sure you check it out. We've also got a daily on our newsfeed, a whole story on the whole article. But this particular part about the Kanye West, I love the fact that Taylor's actually opening up now and giving us all of the details that went behind that it was like a really infamous moment in pop culture. Yeah, no, it was great. Um, and I love the full article and the pictures were great. Make sure you check it out. All right, so moving on to someone very close to Taylor Swift is Selena Gomez. Mm -hmm. So you probably remember last week we talked about a post that she shared on Instagram where she revealed her two childhood crushes. Someone called Juan and also the one and only Cole Sprouse. Which, do we know who Juan is yet? No, that's still <laughs> such a mystery, you guys. It's still such a mystery. So at the time, Cole Sprouse left a really cheeky comment mm -hmm. on the post and now Selena's come back with another response. So the two both have starred in their own Disney Channel TV shows, which I'm sure you're aware. And in an Instagram post, Selena shared a video of a wall she used to ride on back when she was younger. Kind of reminds me of the bathroom walls when I was back at school. But anyway, the wall features a ton of cute captions, but one features the words, Selena belongs with Cole Sprouse forever, as well as another part of the wall, the words say, Selena and Juan are wrapped up in a heart. And then in the caption, she revealed her crush saying, Apparently my heart was very conflicted between Juan and Cole Sprouse when I was 11. Well, Cole clearly got wind of the post because, duh, it's the internet, and he responded with the most hilarious comment, writing, Always one upping me. Now, while us and fans couldn't get enough of this super cute and unexpected interaction, Selena now has left another comment responding to Cole. She came back with a very super chill response saying, nice one, with a laughing cry face emoji. Needless to say, fans are living for it, and again, in awe of her relatability, replying in her comments, saying things like, 
OMFG, you replied, and it's so nice to see you replying on comments, lol. As well as this person who had a really great idea saying, one Netflix movie starring Cole and Selena, please. And this leaves one question unanswered. What? Juan, where are you at? We need to know who Juan is right now. Yes. No, this is great. This really makes me happy. And you know, we are starting to see more Selena again. Yes. And it just makes us smile that they even had that little exchange. It was so unexpected. And I feel like we need more of this in our lives. But still, Juan, where are you at? Where are you at though? <laughs> All right, guys, we have some One Direction news for you because Liam Payne recently sat down with Sirius XM and um, he talked about some reunion news. So Liam talked about the future of One Direction in a Sirius XM interview on September 17th and revealed that most of the guys are set to reunite the band when the timing is right. Liam explained that he's pretty sure most of the guys, which includes Niall Horan and Louis Tomlinson, will be down to reunite as long as the timing was right. And although he's not sure where Harry Styles' current mindset is with it, he's confident they'll be making music together at some point in the future. When asked about the timing of a potential reunion, he said, quote, I say different times all the time because whatever I'm thinking might happen, but it's difficult. I mean, I haven't spoken to Harry in a while, so I don't really know where his head's at with that. I heard he mentioned it in some sort of magazine thing or whatever the other day, which was cool. He then went on to say this about the other members. Well, I think everybody else has been really outspoken on the thing that they're like ready to go whenever. Yeah. I know Niall's always, Niall was ready the day that we decided to stop for a second. He was like, <laughs> okay. Are sure we come back in tomorrow, boys? <laughs> like, he was just ready to go. Who knows, we could have a reunion happen sooner than we realized. Of course, the interview with Harry that Liam is referring to is the Rolling Stones cover that we recently told you about, where Harry said, quote, I don't think I'd ever say I'd never do it again because I don't feel that way. If there's a time when we all really want to do it, that's the only time for us to do it. Because I don't think it should be about anything else other than the fact that we are all like, hey, this was really fun, we should do this again. Also, Louis earlier this year on the topic of a reunion told ODE Entertainment, I do think it will happen. I certainly have something to say about it. If it didn't, I think it's inevitable. I mean, that's all I need right there. I know we don't know when it's gonna happen, but it definitely sounds like just from the fact, and I know they're not the ones organically bringing up in these interviews, people, people are asking, asking them, yeah. but the fact that it's not ever, absolutely not. That's a good sign. It's a really good sign. It's a sign of the times that, you know, oh. it's maybe inevitable that it's just around the corner mm -hmm. or maybe not around the corner, but sometime in our future. Yeah. Whatever that may be. <laughs> <sighs> Guys, it's the moment that we've been waiting for. Shane Dawson has finally revealed when we're getting the trailer and the series that is coming up in the future. So Shane has been teasing us for a while, letting us know that the series is coming soon, but we didn't know exactly when, and we finally have an answer. So you may remember that when I went to Shane and Ryland's house to interview them for Rumor Patrol Celeb Takeover, I asked him about the series release and he didn't give a concrete answer, but he said that it has to come out at a certain time. Well, over the past couple of weeks, Shane has been answering a question or two on his Insta stories, but earlier today, we have the answer that we've been waiting for. In his first Insta story, he showed us his trash can with empty root beer and Diet Coke cans, which wasn't any Anything abnormal if you've been keeping up with him for the past couple of months. He's been working hard to get the series done. Then he followed that story with the story that said, I hope you guys like what we have been working on, which again is not that abnormal. But his next story revealed concrete details, kind of. So it said, <laughs> trailer coming next week and series starting not long after that. Yes, people, it's coming and we cannot wait. But we're not the only ones, fans are freaking out. This fan said, the beauty community when Shane Dawson announced that he's posting the trailer next week with this video that had me cracking up. And this fan said, we are getting the trailer for Shane Dawson's new series next week. I am so ready to see everything he has been creating with Jeffrey and Andrew. And this one, I'm so proud of Shane Dawson because he's been working hard for us filming and editing nonstop these past months. We are finally getting the trailer next week and I couldn't be more excited. Oh. Cannot wait. It's feel like we've been talking about this forever and it really has been a long time since Shane's released like an actual docu-series. Yeah. So it's gonna be exciting. Basically clear the deck. You know exactly what we're all doing next week. And I was just doing the countdown then as yeah. we're doing that next week. So today's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, mm -hmm. Monday. It could be in six days, seven days, eight days, nine days, 10. I mean. Math. <laughs> I'm, not very, I'm not very good at maths, but it's soon, you guys. It's soon. Coming. All right, Emil, you know what time it is. It's time. For. The. Final. Rundown. <laughs> that was seamless. <laughs> we didn't plan that either. We at were just all. like the telepathetically linked. Telepathic. Telepathetically. Telepathic. Telepathic. That's the word. Telepath. That's what I was trying to say. Um, you guys, we're about to kick it off with. One minute 30, <laughs> starting now. 
Ah, so Aaron Carter has been slapped with a restraining order from his brother Nick. According to TMZ, Aaron was FaceTiming with his sister Angel and said, I want to tell you something that I never told you before. I was diagnosed with schizophrenia and bipolar two years ago. And apparently she asked if he hears voices and he said he thinks about killing babies and he thinks about killing Lauren. Lauren is Nick's pregnant wife, you guys. I wasn't expecting this when I saw this story, mm -hmm. but he did this whole series of tweets after this, but uh, moving on to some lighter news, Chrissy Teigen accidentally shared her email on her Twitter and the responses are hilarious. So Chrissy Teigen had us cracking up today because she accidentally tweeted out her email address. First she tweeted, I posted my email address laughing my ass off. Then she said, oh my God, people are FaceTiming me, was 100% sure this will be a penis, but nope, just a nice stranger. And people kept FaceTiming so much that she finally tweeted, please stop, I have a family. <laughs> you know what, if she should make a TV show out of she this, really I should. would totally just watch oh my Chrissy God. like answering people's FaceTime calls. But moving on to some Camila Cabello news, you guys. Camila Cabello opened up to Ryan Seacrest on On Air with Ryan Seacrest about that epic fishy kiss that we all know about. So she said that when you're falling in love in the public eye there's just a microscope on everything the way you kiss hug etc but you know they were just making fun of that of everyone over analyzing what they do and the way they kiss and all that sort of thing and you know she's just having fun with it yeah i'm glad they did that and i'm glad she like spoke out about it but uh <laughs> that kiss will go down in history yeah if you wanted to see our impersonation of that kiss not with each other but with uh cream filled donuts uh, we did that last week in Celebrity Lowdown, which is our Saturday show, mm -hmm. so we'll put the link at the end of the show and yeah. you guys can uh, watch it there. Time flies when you're having fun. I almost didn't realise it was the end of the show. I was like, I okay, next story. I was like, oh, no, we're wrapping up. But before we wrap up, you guys, we have some questions. Do you have a question, Emil? Yeah, I want to know what you think about Shane's update. Are you excited for the series? Let us know in the comment section below. Well, we know we're very excited, but something else I want to know is who was your childhood crush? It could be someone that we don't know, like Juan, or it could be someone famous, like Cole Sprouse. Mm -hmm. um, with Selena revealing hers, I want to know yours in the comment section. And of course, we'll be back here tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye, guys. But hold on, you guys. Before you go anywhere, like I said, if you want to see us do the whole kissy face thing, but with cream-filled donuts, click right over here for last week's Celebrity Lowdown. And click right beneath that to subscribe. That way you never miss a single thing. Ever. You know what I mean? Like ever. Ever.